making chicken piccata for lunch, I just bought some thin sliced chicken breasts and I am coating them in flour and salt and pepper and frying them in butter and olive oil. I chose to do linguine, which I am actually cooking in the chicken broth that I made. I love cooking my pasta in broth and you don't wanna do a huge amount. You just wanna do enough so that way it soaks up the broth and all of that flavor. After I cooked the chicken, I added onion and lots of garlic to the pan. And then I'm going to be adding lemon zest, lemon juice, again my homemade chicken broth and also some butter and capers and so this is going to make the sauce that I am pouring over top of the linguine and then I served that with the fried chicken it tasted so good we love chicken piccata it's one of Alvin's favorite meals and it is not that hard to make I also feel like it tastes so good the next day so chicken piccata leftovers are delicious Welcome to Vlogmas Day 9, I think it is. Um, we have just been relaxing as much as we can this weekend. It is 3 o'clock in the afternoon, so a lot of time has gone by. But we woke up this morning and we did like our normal get coffee, relax on the couch together, you know, play with Alice, that kind of thing. I made a baked peach oatmeal for breakfast and we ate that and then once Alice went down for her nap I ended up making chicken piccata for lunch and I made chicken broth um, and so the broth is cooling off so that way I can put it in the fridge because I'm going to need it um, I'm making an Italian meatball soup tomorrow I think and then the chicken I'm going to pull apart because I'm making chicken enchiladas for dinner tonight I think Alvin's sister is coming over but I will just put Alice actually uh, to bed for her second nap and I'm gonna work a little bit on editing but I kind of just wanted to use today as like a relaxation day so I got like 14 card orders done yesterday and I am just going to like play the switch we're gonna watch our favorite shows we're catching up on Kitchen Nightmares, Hell's Kitchen, and the Squid Games. The Squid Games, the challenge is like a reality game. It is so, so fun. So um, I'm excited for that because we watched the first bunch of episodes that came out, but then uh, we had to wait for like more to come out. So now we're slightly behind because that was, I think like a week ago they came out and we didn't have time to watch them yet. I did not open my wine yet, so I'll probably go ahead and do that. And later I think I'll probably open the cheese just because I'm still pretty full from lunch. The piccata was really good. Uh, I really enjoy like cooking the noodles in the broth that I made instead of like boiling them, them in water. I feel like they just become so much more flavorful when you like cook them in a little bit of broth. I actually kind of learned that because of the like feta pasta trend that went on around TikTok because you like baked everything together and that was really good. Today's wine is a Merlot. We'll have to see if I'm going to like this. Um, I, I'm probably gonna try that first red that I opened, or that, yeah, that I, th I think it was yesterday's red. Probably try that later. I'm actually drinking peppermint tea because I don't have to worry so much about like my supply and keeping it up. I haven't had peppermint tea in a really long time because it's supposed to like lower your supply. Got some packages. I think this is Alice's new teether that the lactation consultant had recommended for her tongue exercises. This. You like that? She's like, you did my tongue stretches. I don't like you. You dead ass girl. <laughs> 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 